Hey guys, John with Pro Edge Paintball. I'm back with another weekly video. Today, I've got a pretty popular question I'm gonna answer, uh, and that is, what are the difference between like a cloth barrel sock and the nicer, more expensive barrel socks, and are they worth it? So today, I've got a handful of barrel socks, probably the most popular ones that we sell here at our store. Um, also, before I get into too much into this, um, of course, these are all available on our website, ProHPB.com. We launched a new website last year, uh, live inventory, I'd say 99% accurate all the time. Um, and of course, everything that you see on our website is available in store. So if you're in Houston, swing by, check it out. Otherwise you can shop it online, free shipping over 50 bucks. So quickly today, uh, I'm just gonna cover what are the difference between a cloth barrel sock, which is like your standard barrel sock. Like Empire makes them, Planet Eclipse makes them, Dye, uh, I believe. I think the Lux one is also a cloth barrel sock that comes with it. Um, and so what happens on a cloth barrel sock is if you accidentally shoot in there, if you've ever actually shot into your barrel sock, they're kind of a pain to clean. Um, I mean, of course, if you want to shoot straight, you definitely need to clean it out. But some of the players out there, they just ride, you know, do what they can do. They don't care too much. If you shoot into a barrel sock, all that paint sits right here in the front. So when you put your barrel in the ends of it, now all that paint now gets around your barrel. So the first couple shots you have, it's going to be dirty, of course, and you have to do that over and over again. So on a cloth barrel sock, they're definitely less, less, less expensive. Um, so they're usually between five and five, eight dollars, depending on what brand you go with. Um, and probably a little less, you know, less as far as quality goes. Um, but they get real soggy, real dirty, nasty. Um, and they are, again, once you clean them, they're all soaking wet. You gotta hang dry them or whatever the case is, leave them at the field, let them dry out. Um, but one thing I do like about them, the price is less, but also they can go smaller. So if you're gonna play with it in your pocket, it's not a big bulky barrel sock to go in your pocket. So I'm definitely on the fence of which one I like better, um, but that's just a little rundown on the cloth barrel sock. So as far as the nicer barrel socks go, of course, the number one thing that everybody recognizes, of course, is made out of a different material. So this is a nice, very rubber, like almost silicone type material. Uh, it's going to last forever. It's going to last a very long time. Um, HK did a pretty good job. HK and Exalt both have some pretty cool uh, designs that they have. They probably have 20 different prints and designs themselves uh, for each brand. And, and both of them are very, very similar as far as performance goes. They call this their ball breakers. And actually inside of most of these, there is actually like a little, a little cone on the inside of the HK one at least. Um, that helps, I assume, break the ball when it actually hits. It's kind of like, not a cone, but it's a cross inside. Um, and it helps break that paintball so there's not as much pressure on the end of it. One thing I like about the um, rubber barrel socks is that the elastic is actually replaceable. So on the Exalt one, you just squeeze the end of it here. You can actually see the knot. You can buy nylon flexible or stretchy string like this on Amazon pretty cheap, um, or your local probably craft store or something like that. So on both of these, you can replace this. So the rubber itself really isn't gonna wear out too much. And if for some reason the elastic does, cause you have your favorite barrel stock you've had for years, you can replace the elastic real, real cheap or do your own custom design stuff, whatever you wanna do. And same thing here, this piece on the end of this uh, HK barrel stock, it's pressed into there, um, into there, it comes out, it's got a knot in there so you can replace it. So pretty nice. <clears throat> and then I don't remember who was the first to come up with the rubber barrel stock. I wanna say it was Exalt, um, but everybody kind of has their own thing. For example, here's a die one. So this is the Ironman one, of course, I had to pick this for the video. Um, it's kind of cool. I mean, the same thing. It's got elastic. It has, I'm trying to fill on the inside of it. It, it look, feels like it has the little break, uh, break piece as well. So whenever you shoot it, it actually breaks, uh, helps break the paintball inside of it. The elastic is a little shorter on the die ones, which I like that. So you don't have a lot of extra slack laying around. But the biggest difference between all the rubber barrel socks and the die one, if you squeeze right here on the end of it, they actually have Allen keys inside of it. So it's pretty cool. So this is a 3 16th Allen key. And I believe this is a 1 8 Allen key. <clears throat> What's nice about the way this is designed is just because you don't <coughs> just because you don't shoot a die gun or you don't need a 3 16th or 1 8th, which is probably the most popular, the, um, the piece of rubber in here, it stretches enough. You can put your own Allen key size. So if you're a shoot like an Empire Axe or you shoot a Mini, uh, they require, I believe, even a larger um, Allen key. You can also make it work and you can put this in here. What's nice is once it goes in, it locks kind of into place. It cover, it's covered up on the end like that. And you're really not going to lose your Allen key ever. So you lose your barrel sock before you lose your Allen key. But this is great because when you go to chronograph, you have a, a Allen key there quickly. Um, and what's nice, you're probably gonna throw this on the ground or put it in your pocket and it's all locked into place. It's not a crazy Allen key just flopping around your pocket. So when you go sliding in, you stab yourself. So, but one of the biggest benefits 
I should get back to that, sorry. One of the biggest benefits to a rubber barrel stock is how easy it cleans out. It's rubber, it's not gonna absorb that paint. So when you take a water bottle and you squirt it inside, it's going to clean out the paint, and it's gonna drip out and drip dry and be good to go. So a big question is like, is it worth it? You're gonna go through a ton of these before you go through, uh, like you're gonna lose these or you're going to damage these, they're gonna fall apart way faster than you would like a silicone or rubber barrel sock. So I definitely recommend go with the rubber barrel sock. It's very nice, very heavy duty. They're gonna last you a real long time. Again, you're gonna lose it before it goes bad. The only downside, the price. So I believe the dye one is about $15 and then the exalt ones are about 12. So it just depends on kind of what you wanna go with as far as design goes um, and like the print. Besides the price, one of the downsides is it, a barrel sock like this is not gonna fit around like your tactical barrel fronts, like shrouds or suppressors or anything like that. It's not gonna fit on the front like a cloth barrel sock that actually has a larger mouth. Um, so unfortunately for the tactical guides, you're kind of limited on going with the cloth one until somebody makes a tactical version of the, you know, the rubber barrel sock. So, um, and then of course the price, they are a little more expensive. But as far as what I think and which one you should go with, I of course use the rubber barrel sock. I use the exalt one for years. I've got, of course, I'm using the dye one right now. Um, absolutely love them. Again, you actually shoot in there, clean up really easy. My favorite part about the dye one, of course, is Allen keys. You don't have to try to keep it in your pocket or your tank cover or anything like that. It's real nice to have on hand. So <clears throat> pretty simple. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're curious, go to our website and I believe these are called um, an actual barrel, barrel made, um, bayonet, bayonet. Exalt calls them, there's a bayonet. So if you go to our website, you can click on like barrel socks and it'll pull up all of the exalt prints and all the HK prints. Again, they have like 20 different designs of each one. It's pretty funny. Um, this is, I just grabbed a couple just to show you some samples on that one. So, and of course you can't find the dye in any of the cloth barrel socks we have, but these are definitely becoming less popular um, over time. So pretty straightforward on that one. I get that question a lot. People go, well, is it really worth to go the extra money? Cause you can buy two of these for the price of one of these. I think so, yes, because you're gonna, this rubber barrel sock is gonna last you twice as long as a standard barrel sock will, as long as you don't lose it. So, um, as always, if you guys have any questions about these products or any other products uh, that you've seen on our website, you've seen in our videos, make sure you comment below. Um, I handle all of the questions and all that good stuff. Plus, if you wanna see any other videos, uh, just go and comment below. We love the comments. I love reading the comments, even if they're not irrelevant to what, what the video is about, there's no problem at all. Um, it really helps us give other ideas on other videos we should do or questions that we didn't cover in our video. So it helps me create better videos for you guys. So um, as always, please like this video if you found it helpful at all. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do at least two videos a week, one on Tuesday, which is a tech video, and then one on Thursday, which is like a product review video or a shooting video. And then occasionally we do a pro tip video on Friday. And now that the 2021 season is here, um, I'll definitely be doing more of those as I spend more time at the paintball, you know, at the local paintball field playing and everything. So again, any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Before you go, if you liked our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can subscribe right here, or you can watch other videos right here and right here. Also, we give away free Pro Age paintball stickers on our website, proagepb.com, or you can click the link in the description. And as always, any of the products you saw in the video are available for sale on our website, proagepb.com. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.